To solve equations using the quadratic formula, you must be in this form and set equal to zero. If so, then to solve for x, the quadratic formula says negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's put it into practice. In this example, a is equal to 10, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 1. The quadratic formula then says negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Then we will say x equals negative 3 plus or minus, draw the square root house, then go to your calculator or in your mind and see what this right here is equal to. In this particular case, that's equivalent to 49 under the square root house, all over 20. Then we're going to simplify this because the square root of 49 is a perfect square of 7 all over 20. Because these are like terms, we must break it off into the plus and into the minus. So we must do the plus and we must do the minus. Negative 3 plus 7 over 20 is going to be 4 over 20 or reduced to 1 fifth. And then I'm going to say negative 3 minus 7 over 20, which is negative 10 over 20 or negative 1 half. If you'd like to see the full teaching video and practice worksheet on the quadratic formula that has lots of examples of these types, go to Math with Mrs. Seeley. Hope to see you there.